Do you know that who appoints the chief ministers of the state? Well, if you don't know, then the correct answer to this question is governor of the state. So the chief minister is appointed by the governor and it is the governor who also appoints other ministers on the advice of the chief minister. So chief minister is appointed by the governor. Now, who appoints the governor of the state then? We just saw that governor appoints chief minister, but who appoints the governor? Then the correct answer is the president of India. The governor of a state is appointed by the president of India for the term of five years and hold office during his pleasure. Only Indian citizens above 35 years of age are eligible for the appointment to this office, which is the office of the governor. So the governor of the state is appointed by the president. Now, who appoints the prime minister of the country? The correct answer to this question is the prime minister is appointed by again the president of India. Of course, the prime minister has to enjoy the confidence of the majority of the Lok Sabha members who are directly elected every five years lest the prime minister shall resign but then the prime minister is appointed by the president of india so the prime minister is appointed by the president now who appoints the chief justice of supreme court or chief justice of india then again the correct answer to this question is chief justice of supreme court is appointed by the president the president appoints chief justice of india and also the judges of the supreme court and they are appointed by the president under the article 124 of the indian constitution so remember the name of this article as well article 124 now who appoints the chief justice of high courts of state then? Then the answer to this question is also the president. So chief justice of high courts of states is also appointed by the president. And president appoints the chief justice of high court under the clause 1 of article 217 of Indian constitution. So the next question we have is who appoints the chief election commissioner of India? And again the answer is president so chief election commissioner of india is appointed by the president and the chief election commissioner's term length is for six years or up to 65 years of age whichever is earlier so this is clear now who appoints the attorney general of india again the attorney general of india is appointed by president okay so president appoints attorney general of india the Attorney General of India is the Indian government's chief legal advisor and is a chief advocate in the courts. They are appointed by the President of India at the instance of Union Cabinet under Article 76 1 of the Constitution. So I hope it is clear. Now the major question is who appoints the president then? We just saw that so many appointments are done by the president but the major question is who appoints the president then? Then the correct answer to this question is a little complex one the president is elected by not appointed by but elected by first of all elected members of both the houses that is Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha elected members of legislative assemblies of the states and elected members of union territories of Delhi and Puducherry. So first of all elected member of both houses which is Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha, elected member of legislative assemblies of different states and elected member of legislative assemblies of Delhi and Puducherry Union Territory. All of these plays a major role in electing the president. So the president is elected by as you can see the members of an electoral college consisting of the elected members of both the houses of parliament and the elected members of the legislative assemblies of the state and the union territories of Delhi and Pondicherry. So I hope this is clear. Now let us see it in a nutshell. So we just saw that president is elected by elected member of both the houses of Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha, elected member of legislative assemblies of the state and elected member of legislative assemblies of union territories of Delhi and Pondicherry. And we again saw that president appoints attorney general of India, president appoints chief justice of Supreme Court, that president appoints chief justice of state high courts and president appoints chief election commissioner and president appoints prime minister as well and president appoints governor as well and in the end governor is the one who appoints the chief minister so this is the hierarchy of appointments who appoints whom i hope it is clear the pdf of this session is available in the description box you can see it so i hope you like the video thank you so much don't forget to like share and subscribe to ssc second bye bye